Guys, in this video, I'm giving you a very simple and easy first touch and ball control routine that's gonna help you to be better prepared for in-game situations. What's up guys, it's Dave here from Simply Soccer where we are helping you to improve your game and stand out on the pitch. And we do that through daily soccer tip, technique, and training videos. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell icon. So I wanted to just give you a very simple first touch and ball uh, control routine that you can do. And if you do this often, I guarantee that your touch, your ball control, and your ability to function better in game-like situations or in-game situations will improve. So let's get right into that routine. Um, and you can just take this right to the field with you and follow along. Okay guys, so we're starting this off very simple with inside control, two touch. So you're only taking two touches, one to control it, one to hit it back against the wall. Do not count any bad touches or bad passes, only count good reps. Then you're going to immediately switch over to the left side and the same rules apply. You're gonna do 10 good reps with the inside of your left foot, two touch, any bad reps. Do not count, do them again if you take a bad one. Then we are moving on to the outside of our foot. Again, same rules. I wouldn't have counted that first one. Uh, you're going to do 10 good reps. And of course, you can always do more good reps if you want, um, but 10 at minimum good reps on your right side to touch. Make sure your touches are true, they're crisp, um, and you're doing them at game pace. Next, we're moving on to the outside of our left foot. Same rules apply. Good touches only count. Um, and remember, you should be getting more than 10 reps in here um, because you're only counting the good ones. So in actuality, you're getting in a good amount of practice because you're only counting the really good reps. You're not counting bad touches or bad passes or passes that don't challenge you, things of that nature. Okay, so now we're doing the same thing with the inside of our feet, except we're alternating our feet. So you're gonna control it with your left and then pass it with your right and then control it with your right and pass it with your left. So you're gonna do 20 reps in total, meaning you're gonna do 10 uh, going from one side to the other side and then 10 going to the other side to the other side. Again, you're only counting the good touches, the good passes. And if you're using a wall like I am here or you know a bouncy, slick, ground like I'm using here. It's going to take you more than 20 straight reps to do this. Uh, so keep that in mind. It's absolutely fine. Don't get frustrated. Just keep going and only count the good reps. Um, and it's going to pay off in the long run. Okay, so next we're doing inside air touches right. You're going to do 10 against the wall. Um, you cannot let the ball drop. You have to do 10 in a row without the ball hitting the ground then immediately gonna go to your left foot, same rules apply, 10 in the air without letting it hit the ground. If it hits the ground, you have to start over, so do your best not to let it hit. And you're gonna do the same thing, except you're gonna alternate right, left, right, left, over and over again. You're gonna follow this pattern. If you break the pattern or it hits the ground, you have to start over. This is more difficult. Again, this is gonna pay off. Um, you can set other rules to make it so you can actually do it, but this is what we're going for, 20 straight touches. Then we're gonna move on to the top of our feet. So 10 with our right, um, and you wanna keep your ankle flexed down for this. And then you're gonna move on to your left foot. Um, you can see I'm using my thigh for some of these. I don't count it and I've started over every time it hits my thigh. It's gotta be one touch, it can't hit the ground. Uh, make sure you flex your foot down when you are doing this, no floppy ankles. Now we're going into a turning drill. You're gonna hit it against the wall and you're gonna turn inside with your right foot as if an opponent is at your left side and you're turning away from him. This is a great drill to practice because many situations in games, you'll find that you're able to turn away from your opponent and you wanna commit this to muscle memory so that when you find yourself in those situations, you can do it automatically. I just have the cones there as a reference point and so I can pretend that an opponent is kind of in that area and I can turn away from him. Um, again, you're gonna do 10 good reps here. Do 10 spins and turns that you think were good and feel good about. Of course, you can do more good ones if you want. This is one I like to do extra on personally. Of course, you're then gonna go to your left side and do exactly the same thing. Inside turns with the inside of your left foot. Same rules apply. Try and make these fast and crisp. 
try and make them as game-like as possible. Pretend there is an opponent that is closing you down and he's mistimed his tackle so you're able to spin him. Um, the more game-like you can make this, the better. Okay, now we're going to outside of the right foot turns. Again, another very useful skill to have in matches. If an opponent tries to close you down and you have the opportunity to turn him, you want to do this quickly. Again, you want to be very crisp about it. You want to take a good touch that's a good distance away from the defender but is in control. Again, you're going to go for 10 good ones, uh, 10 one, uh, reps that you're very proud of and you think are really, really good. Um, and again, this is another one I like to do extra on because I think it's a very important skill. And of course, you're going to go on to your left foot. Same rules apply. You're going to take the touch with the outside of your left foot to turn an opponent that you are just imagining is there. If you're doing these drills with a partner, it may be even better to have him shadow defend you or actually defend you. Um, a little more tightly so that you can get used to there being a presence there but if you don't have someone with you you just have to pretend that someone's closing you down and you need to turn away from them and you have the opportunity to do so again 10 good ones 10 uh, be honest with yourself 10 that you think would actually work in a match and of course you can always do more like I've been saying if you want to This next one's an interesting drill. You're gonna play it against the wall and then you're gonna pretend that a defender is coming in at you from your left side and then you're gonna get your body between the ball and the man. So this is gonna happen a lot in matches where you're played the ball and someone closes you down and you need to protect it. So that's the idea here. You're gonna to have to control the ball while also being very aware of the opponent who's closing you down and then just shield it for a couple of seconds pretending that he's right up on you and protect the ball. Um, this is a drill I really like because it combines having to control the ball quickly but also think about the man that's on you. Then you're going to do it on your left side as well, so pretend the man's coming in from the right side and he's trying to intercept the ball, get the ball, you need to control it quickly and then get your body between the man and the ball so your opponent can't reach in and get it and so that you can fend him off. Again, make this as game-like as possible, really make sure the ball is pinged into you, uh, make it so that you have to take a really good first touch so that you protect the ball. If you take a bad touch or the ball gets too far away from you or you feel like in a real game that the ball would be taken from you during a rep, um, don't count it. Again, we're only counting good reps here, so only count the ones you think would actually work in a game situation. Okay, and to finish off, we're just going to do a little bit of shooting practice. So you're doing shooting two touch against the wall. Uh, you're not trying to hit it hard, you're just trying to use proper technique. So lock your ankle, lean over the ball, and try and hit the ball cleanly. Again, don't try and hit it too hard, we're working on technique here. Um, and again, to make it so we're actually working on first touch, keep this at two touch. Um, if you're taking additional touches, don't count the rep. Um, I will usually do more than 10 reps on each side for this, but you can stay at 10 reps if you want to. And of course, then you're gonna do the left side. I don't care if your left side is your weak side or whatever side is your weak side, make sure you're practicing both. You might as well, um, like I always say, when you're at the wall, you might as well get your shooting technique in a little bit, even if it's just 10 reps each side. And don't neglect your weak side because I can tell you, um, for me personally, I've scored so many goals on my left side just because I took the time to get good at it. Um, and it's helped me contribute with more goals for my teams. You know, it, it, it's even gotten to the point where I feel very strong on my left side and sometimes prefer it over my more dominant side. So this is very important to practice. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This is just a routine you can do when you want to get some first touch practice in, some game-like drills as well that involve turning, shielding the ball, getting some shooting in. This is a routine I really like because it covers so many different areas and it also gives me a good feel for the ball. You're getting plenty of touches as well and you're practicing things that you will actually use in your games, which is very important. Remember to only count good reps as you're going through this routine. Don't kid yourself, you're only hurting yourself if you count bad reps and make sure you're doing it to the best of your ability. Remember, the way you train is the way you're going to play.
Make sure you hit that like button and you subscribe to Simply Soccer if you haven't already. Let me know if you want to see more routines like this one and I will make some more videos like this for different areas or for similar areas, whichever you guys want. Uh, take a look at the two videos I have come across screen now that you can watch to continue learning uh, continue, and continue growing as a player. And I will see you in the next video.